Hi guys. Hi guys, Damien Wade here. Um, again, this is video number two in, in, the, in the short series uh, to again help with uh, the situation that we're in. Um, I hope you're all uh, keeping well. I think I actually forgot to say that in the first video. Um, so hopefully you're again, you guys being young and healthy and fit, um, it, it helps with your immune system. So that's, that's, that, that's good, but uh, wishing you all uh, good health and, and wellness and the same to your, to your families. So uh, the last video we looked at nutrition and how that's really important for to keep our immune system strong and to fuel us for, to give us the energy to be able to uh, concentrate and focus and to uh, really do the things that we, we love doing uh, when all this is lifted. Uh, it's really important, but not just for, for, for now, but also, like I said in the last video, for um, as you progress in your, in your life. And uh, nutrition is a foundational um, uh, uh, go to uh, in relation to well-being. So, secondly, uh, what the, today what I want to talk about is uh, is movement, exercise, or fitness, whatever word you want to give it. Um, for me personally, my background was always in. Um, sport and if it wasn't for sport uh because i, I wasn't very academic myself and um, so uh again everyone being completely different and unique that we all we all tend to um have different interests and and that's that's good because that's what makes the that's what makes everything work um so for me it was always health and sport and fitness um but i chose to ignore it um for again for certain reasons and um, eventually it came back around so I started to find my true purpose and, uh, and passion in life so fitness uh, was always a big part of my life um, again like I said from playing sport and, and then that triggered an interest then in understanding the human anatomy uh, how to um, body movement and how that works and why uh, as human beings uh, we need to, to move our body for many different reasons uh, one for uh, to help with the circulation, it helps with digestion, it helps with uh, de-stressing, uh, it helps with more focus and clarity, it gives us discipline, uh, structure, um, and uh, helps your body to detoxify as well. And again, that adds to our immune system being really strong. So when I say movement or exercise or fitness, that can, you know, that's, that's basically anything that you do that makes the body have to work that a little bit harder to move. Um, and that strengthens the, the bones, the muscles, and uh, the different systems. So you don't have to, you know, uh, be uh, an athlete or, or, or into sports to care enough about your body that you want to move it. And it's really, like I said, it's really important. So uh, again, given the day-to-day -day, um, posture that, that you guys are in, that most adults are in, that when we are seated all the time, what happens is that our body can tend to adapt and our muscles shorten uh, and that can cause uh, a little bit of discomfort in the physical body. So especially, uh, you know, times that the time that we're in, you know, that we're now very confined, that we, we can't seem to go uh, to uh, our favorite places. Uh, we can't, especially when it comes to exercise, you know, we're only allowed a two kilometer ra radius. So that can be quite, quite challenging, especially if you are involved in a community uh, activity like a, a, like a GA club or a soccer club or even swimming or dancing or whatever it is that you're that you're into the fact that you have now not got access to that uh, how do you maintain a level of uh, mobility and flexibility within your body uh, so that that keeps your body healthy as well and also your mind and um, so there's no disconnect everything is holistic uh, where you know what affects your body will affect the way that you're you, you think and you feel and what you think and you feel also affects your body but i'll talk more about that in the next video um, so what can we what can we do now that we are in isolation and that we are at home um, and this is where it gets really fun because you can be really creative so for me for example um, like I would, would you know go, go to the gym a lot and now I can't and um, so basically uh, what I have been doing is um, creating different body exercises myself and then, and then doing them at home I'm not talking about like you have to do like uh, a thousand exercises. You just have to move the body even for 15, 20 minutes uh, will help to uh, keep the body 
strong and it will also help to uh, clear out any stress in the system especially like now again being at home where you're on a computer a lot more than what you normally would be um, and in that seated in that seated position uh, that takes a lot of, uh, of energy and can put a lot of of, of strain and stress on the body as well so you know it's a vital importance that you um, offset uh, that 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 uh, position that body positioning so what i suggest is that you can do some body weight exercises at home you can go on youtube uh, google any sort of you know uh, movement exercises whether that's uh, you know squatting or lunging for the lower body um, then uh, you know, for the upper body, you can you know, do press ups or um, you know different uh, planks and holds. And for your core, uh, this is really good as well. Especially like I said, for sitting down most of the time, it's it helps to that actually has an effect of deactivating some of the muscles and it causes it can cause a weakness. So uh, regardless of whether you're interested in exercise or not. Uh, it's a fundamental thing as a human being that our bodies need that movement and it needs that uh, um, stimulus to be able to keep it strong so that you can uh, move a lot freer and uh, be healthier in your in your body because it does also help with uh, like i said the different systems like your digestive system your your nervous system your circulatory system your skeletal system and muscular system but it also helps them with your with the calming the mind and, and de-stressing as well from uh, any of the activities that you're doing, especially uh, if you are seated in your you know you're you're doing your 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 schoolwork. Um, it's really important that you can get up and maybe do some stretches or you know as well some form of even if it's just dance for five minutes, you know just anything that will just break that pattern that you your body has been in to. Uh, help to elongate the muscles and to stretch all the, the fascia uh, so that it doesn't become shortened and then eventually uh, you know can cause um, some form of discomfort in the body so again there's tons of uh, exercises that again you, know, you're, you guys are whiz kids on technology that you can look up on youtube um, yoga is amazing uh, the body always feels really good after being stretched uh, and there's tons of, of, of yoga teachers that are on, on, online and that uh, you have access to. Um, so that's really, really good. Uh, so again, we are in a, in a situation where this isn't normal for us. Uh, and being confined into a, into a small area uh, can be quite, can feel quite um, claustrophobic. So if you can go outside and do some exercise whether it's in the back garden or uh you know just even for a run or a jog or a, a brisk walk or anything that will allow you especially to take in some sunlight and fresh air it's really really energizing but again just getting the body moving and uh, not to stay stagnant and um and i know you guys are already already doing this but it's just now being more creative in how to stimulate the stimulate the body in that sense so for especially for people who are very driven in, in sport and in, in athletic um i said this can be this can be quite challenging uh, so uh, to keep your your movement your fitness up um like i said there's 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 loads of different ways of uh, of, of maintaining that level of, of fitness and it's really good it feels really good for your body to uh, have done some form of a of a workout um, so that it, uh, it maintains that health, that well-being. Um, so again, I would invite you to uh, choose any kind of uh, uh, activity that you enjoy, and that's the key as well, guys. That you know, you do things because you want to do them, that you enjoy doing them. It's it's not just uh, because you're you know uh, your friends do things. It's because you have a genuine interest. No matter what that is, once it's once it gives you joy, um, then you know that you are in alignment with that energy, that power that uh, that I spoke about in in video one, and that I'll talk more about uh, in in the next few uh, next few videos. Um, so that's you know staying true to yourself and then uh, keeping the keeping the body healthy. So um, so again with nutrition and with movement, uh, these are the two basic fundamentals for 
keeping your physical uh, body healthy. So um, I hope that, uh, that you will be able to find some form of activity uh, that you can do uh, that will uh, generate um, uh, enough stimulus for you to be able to uh, um, keep, your, keep your body strong, keep your body flexible, keep it mobile, uh, and, um, and that will keep, like I said, that will keep your overall uh, well-being good. So uh, just, yeah, just be, be, be creative, but, but please remember the importance of, of moving the body and that, um, and that you keep up some form of a, of a routine, of a structure, uh, even if it's, you know, two to three times a week of, of more intense movement, but on a daily basis, uh, make sure that you are uh, getting outside for, um, for air and that, uh, you know that you are getting in some sunlight especially you know it's uh the weather has been absolutely fantastic uh since we have been put into um put into this uh isolation and uh social distancing as well so you know it's really important that you do get out you get fresh air you get some sun in and that you you try and maintain some form of a of a, of a structure and they have the opportunity to uh you know, take your breaks in between your your lessons and go outside um, more than probably what you could have done in in in, in the school environment. Um, and you know, just uh, spend um, a couple of minutes outside and uh, focus on your breath. So what we'll do as well now, I think, um, we'll just do a simple little uh, exercise that will help you to. Uh, Ground yourself, especially because when you are studying, you're in your mind a lot, uh, and that you need to come back to the body then uh, in order for to to ground it. Um, so a simple little technique um, that we can do, uh, if you would like to try it, you're more than welcome. Um, again, you don't you don't have to. So we this exercise that you can do, I give to a lot of my um, my clients, whether they're uh, athletes, uh, pro athletes, or whether they're uh, you know, people who are uh, just looking for techniques to be able to just uh, really re-energize, relax and re-energize the body uh, very, very quickly, especially after a workout um, or, or some, 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 some movement. So this really helps to uh, boost your immune system as well. So what I'll invite you to do is uh, you can either sit down uh, with your back off the back of the seat or if you're outside, uh, especially if you're outside, if you're in your bare feet, this is this is an amazing technique to do. Where you're really, you know, connecting with the with the earth. Um, so what we'll do is we will just close our eyes. Okay, and just visualize a beautiful white light just on top of your head, and this beautiful white light has a tremendous uh, relaxing and healing abilities. So visualize the white light just coming in through your head and it's uh, connecting then cleansing and energizing your brain, your eyes, your nose, your ears, your jaws, your throat. The brilliant white light now is moving into your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists and your hands. The brilliant white light is now moving through your heart, your lungs, strengthening your lungs, your thymus gland, your diaphragm, your pancreas, your liver, your gallbladder, they're all being cleansed and purified. Your stomach, your small and large intestines, your adrenal glands, your kidneys are all being cleansed and purified and energized by this beautiful white light. Just be still and be aware. Brilliant white light now is moving and cleansing your hips, your knees, your ankles, and your feet. So any stress energy that has been accumulated through uh, focusing on study um, is now being released out of your system, down, 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 deep into Mother Earth. So just inhale to your abdomen, to your belly button, deeply. Hold 
and exhale. So inhale, hold, and exhale, hold. Again, just visualize this beautiful white light now again at the top of your head. And just visualize it pouring in through the top of your crown. And again, washing away any stress energies uh, from studying, from your workout, from uh, the overwhelm of what's going on in the environment. Just seeing all of those energies just being like a beautiful shower being washed out of your systems and down, 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 out through your feet into Mother Earth. Just be still and be aware. Just allow your awareness to float into this brilliant white light. Just allow your body to become more and more relaxed. And when you're ready, just open your eyes slowly with a gentle smile. Okay, so how are you feeling? Hopefully your body is feeling more, more relaxed and your, your, your mind is calm and your um, uh, emotions are balanced. And then that helps to offset kind of some of the, you know, the, the, the stresses that we put our body through, especially, like I said, through exercise and through movement. As much as it's needed and uh, it keeps the body strong, but we also have to balance it out then as well. So that's a simple little technique that one of my teachers taught me um, that you can use. And um, not just for, you know, uh, cleansing and energizing yourself after exercise, but also, uh, you know, if you're feeling a little bit... Um, overwhelmed by the situation that we're in or by any situation in life whether it's a uh, you know uh, trying to understand a, a subject or you know if you know um, a relationship has been quite challenging or you know uh, anything really that uh, your mind starts to um, overthink or overanalyze uh, then you know it means that basically you're back in your mind rather than in your body so just center yourself back in the body by using that brilliant white light technique. Uh, so just to summarize then uh, in this video, uh, how important it is that you do maintain some form of physical exercise, uh, whatever that is, uh, as long as you move the body, it's your choice. Uh, and again, remember to bring your, your joy. Uh, so it can be anything from, uh, you know, a sport to, uh, going on YouTube and finding different body parts exercises to do to stimulate the different parts of your body. Uh, it can be yoga, you know, Pilates, uh, dancing, walking, um, anything like I said that that moves your body and for at least a minimum of 15 minutes. So if you can do that, you know, uh, three times a week, that's awesome. That will keep your physical body healthy. Um, and again, in the, the situation that we're in there at the moment, uh, because we are isolated, is to you know go outside more, um, uh, but being respectful of social distancing and get some air and get some sunlight because these are really important nutrients that the body needs in order for it to keep it uh, healthy and, and well. So we need the rays of the sun and we need to go outside and breathe fresh air. Okay, so I hope uh, that this is, uh, has been a uh, value. And uh, again, I'm honored and grateful to be of service. And uh, I'm wishing you all health and wealth um, and uh, success in your life and peace. So I will talk in the next video then more about techniques and how to calm uh, in stressful situations. Okay, so uh, peace to you all and I'll see you in the next video.